afternoon, everyone. So, today's my day off. Um, I think we're about a week into mandatory, you know, suggest everyone stay home virus stuff, even though I can't because I work. But I just had a crazy idea while I was trying to eat breakfast. Um, so I'm going to do this super quick project. Anyway, because it's just the two of us living at home, more often than not, we are spending time in the bedroom. Um, eating in there, watching TV in there, playing on our phones in there, whatever. Um, so I was eating breakfast this morning and we had, I made French toast and when you're sitting on the bed, um, you know, the plate starts to go like this, you have to worry about the syrup, getting on the bed, and I was like, I wish I had a tray, and of course there's TV trays and whatnot, but I'm going to do a shout out to Rochelle and Justin, and they'll never ever see this, but Justin made a tray to go over the arm of their couch. If I can find a clip of it, I'll stick it in here. Um, just a flatter, more stable surface to put like cups, I guess, and whatnot. But if I do the exact same thing, but in this direction, it's slider between the mattresses, and then I have a flat surface above the bed, just hovering just above the mattress that would stay flat. Um, I don't have a decent working laptop anymore, but I could use it for that as well. So I have a large board. Um, I think it's a 10, 10 and a half inch wide uh, left over from the mantle that I made. And originally I was going to use small L brackets, like little ones, but then I realized that Seeing it only has three sides, if you were to put any pressure on it, most part, there's no way to keep that edge from cracking. And I don't have a fancy table saw or miter saw or anything to make a diagonal cut. So Jason suggested, I have a bunch of these leftover shelf brackets from when I took all the cat shelves down. Um, and because of the way that they're made, they're a lot more rigid. And I think the length... Hope like hell that wasn't a red wasp. For anyone that didn't wasn't here last summer, I will link the video. Um, oops, that was all my face. To the time I got stung, two weeks in a row. Yeah, I saw one yesterday. It almost didn't go out my front door. Oh hi, girl. She just went through the doggy door between my legs. Anyway, I think the length will also give me really good rigidity considering that the middle board is only going to be like 10 and a half inches high 11 because that's how wide the mattress is so I'm going to use these I'm going to go ahead and let me show you real quick I'm going to go ahead and remove these from these old shelves um, and then I'm going to cut the uh, board down the way I need it um, I might just throw a few snippets of that in there you don't really need to watch me do all that and then after I get it put all together, I suppose I could sand it down and I've got at least two or three or four different colors of um, uh, wood stain from when I was going to make bath trays and try to sell them and nobody wanted any. So, all right, I'll be back. Right, so it's not perfect I'd say the whole project took me maybe an hour that's because I had uneven cuts um, I could fill it if I wanted to but this is the sideboard I'm not that worried about it I think it's gonna be nice and stable I rounded off the corners that are gonna slide under between the mattress and the box spring um, probably take the finish sander to that Maybe a little finish sanding to these edges. Oh, it's really hot. It's up at 77 in the house. I just turned the AC on. 
so yeah, um, that's pretty much the end result. If I, I'm probably gonna take a break for now. Um, I'm hot and tired. I need some lunch. But once I get that sanded down and varnished, which may not be today, um, I'll insert some pictures towards the end. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else has come up with this. I don't know if some other company markets something like this. Um, actually, the top is a little bit short once I fit it on the bed. I'll stick that picture, the pictures I took here on that. I mean, it still serves its purpose. It keeps my plate level. Um, but I think 16 inches is a little bit short. So maybe next time, or maybe I'll think about when I can get some more wood. I'm extending that out another... What is that, about eight inches? Um, and then I think it'll fit more across my whole area of where I sit, if I'm sitting on the bed Indian style. So, or cross-legged, sorry, is that on PC to say? I don't know. But, yeah, that's it for this quick little DIY project. Um, hopefully everybody uses it. If anybody wants actual instructions or something, let me know. I can maybe write something up uh, to put down in the description box as to the measurements I used on this specific one. And uh, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe as usual, all that YouTube mumbo jumbo. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. Alright, so I did finish up Jason's. It started with a very light cherry stain that I sanded down and then finished with a black stain. I used a white stain on mine which I know doesn't make a lot of difference compared to the pine but it's a little bit of something and then it's finished with a matte polyurethane coat. Jason is just gonna leave his stained plain but yep that's the boards finished up. Like I said, let me know if anybody wants instructions, although it's a pretty self-explanatory project.